Hello there everybody and welcome back to the Laudit Solicitors Podcast. It's me, Alice Sweetnam, solicitor at Laudit, specialising in intellectual property. And today I was on my own and I thought I would just have a quick chat with you all about the different areas of intellectual property that there are and what they cover. There are um, a couple of types of intellectual property that are quite well known within the public but actually can be easily confused where there is actually quite a distinctive difference as to what they are and what they cover. So I won't ramble on for hours and hours and bore you with all the details, but today will just be a quick uh, run through the different types. And then if you have any further questions or anything at all, do please check out the rest of our uh, podcasts and also the articles on our reading room. And if you have any further questions about your own intellectual property, get in touch with the team and we're more than happy to help. So the first type of intellectual property that I want to chat about is trademarks. So this is probably the most well-known type of intellectual property. And trademarks are there to protect your brand. So that includes your brand name, your logo, uh, any slogans you have, any product names. And a registered trademark effectively allows you to stop anyone else from using the same or similar name, slogan, logo in relation to the same or similar goods and services. Um, and effectively allows you the the right to stop them from using that. So it's quite a strong right. It's what's called a monopoly right. So it allows you to uh, prevent anyone else from not only copying exactly what you have registered, but also similar marks out there. So it is a really great tool to ensure that your brand, your identity, your company that you've worked so hard to build is protected and you have that bubble around it. The second type of intellectual property, probably the second most well known, is copyright. So copyright is an automatic right and therefore you don't need to go through a registration process. And effectively, copyright protects anything that is original. So as I said, it arises automatically. So as soon as a literary, dramatic, musical or artistic work is created, it is protected by copyright. Now, as this is an automatic right, it has a lower level um, of strength. So copyright protection effectively allows you to only prevent someone else from copying your work. So, for example, if you are J.K. Rowling and you've written Harry Potter, um, you will be able to stop anyone from copying that Harry Potter book. Now, copyright allows you to prevent someone from copying um, the expression of the work rather than the idea itself so jk rowling wouldn't be able to stop anyone else from writing their own story about a boy wizard who didn't know he had magical powers but they would she would be able to stop someone from copying her harry potter stories so as i said with copyright while it does arise automatically you do need to make sure that you have the ability to prove your ownership now again i won't go into all all the details um, and i'm sure there will be some further podcasts coming up on copyright protection but there are certainly some articles on our reading room about how is best to ensure you have that evidence in place to prove that you own your copyright but if you have any questions at all then do get in touch with the team uh, thirdly, you have patents. Now, a registered patent is there to prevent, protect an invention or process, uh, which is brand new and it's never been done before. A patent can be quite tricky to obtain just because it needs something to be completely new and a step above anything else that is out there. However, it does grant you 20 years protection, effectively allowing you to to stop anyone else from using or creating or selling your invention all of the best inventions in the world have been protected by a patent tv telephone laptop everything you can think of has at some stage been protected by a patent and can be a, a sensationally effective tool to um secure your invention and make sure that it is uh, purely yours Again, patents are very complex in detail, so I won't go into the detail here, um, but please do check out our um, podcast for some more podcasts coming up on patents. Lastly, I want to chat to you about design rights. So there is some automatic design rights as well as some registered design rights, depending on what you're looking to protect. Effectively, those design rights protect your designs. So whether that is a, a 3D or 2D design, um the the 
uh, look of something, how um, how your design uh, sits, and also any kind of surface pattern or anything like that will be protected by a registered design or unregistered design rights. So again, please do get in touch if you have a design that you want to protect, but effectively anything that you, you've put together, may that be a sculpture or a vase, or a piece of furniture, or anything that you've designed, a product that you've designed, uh, is likely to be able to be protected by either registered design rights or unregistered design rights. Um, for more details, it's kind of the differences between those. Uh, and if you have a design yourself that you want to be protected, again, please get in touch with the team, and we will be able to assist you in making sure you have the correct intellectual property rights to protect your inventions your designs and your brand so as i said this was just a whistle stop tour through the different types of intellectual property if you have any questions at all please do pick up the phone uh, on 02380 visit our website at www.laudit.co.uk get in touch with us we have a chat facility on there as well as some details as to our offices uh, and all of our different members of our team that will be able to assist you no question is silly no question is too small so please do get in touch and we're more than happy to chat through the intellectual property rights that you may have um, and how we can assist you in securing those so thank you for listening i wish you uh, a most successful week and uh, listen back on the podcast shortly thank you bye bye